This is a very important day for the new Karnataka Congress government because this is the day when the government has announced officially the five promises which were a key part of uh, the Congress's campaign during this crucial election. So, Mr. Shiv Kumar, can I start by asking you to explain, since it happened just a couple of hours before now, how and where will the Congress get the money to be able to implement the five promises that you've made to the people of Karnataka? Uh, good evening, Rahul. Good evening to all of you. First, I would like to thank the people of Karnataka for imposing faith in us, trust in us, confidence in us. So they are given a mandate. Whatever we had promised them, we had assured them, this is the land of Baswarna, whose preachings are Whatever you speak, you have to honor it. That is the commitment we place before the people of Karnataka. I am a president of this party from past three years and harder. In the difficult times, Srimati Sonia Gandhi appointed me as the president. COVID had just started. From day, that day till today, I have not slept or made my party care sleep. We had to do our job. In the process, we could see a double engine government, a strong, mighty government in the national level. And in the state level also, they had a government, they took about its 18 MLAs, BJP, and they formed a government here. They had a great opportunity for developing Karnataka, having at the national and having at the state level. So they could not deliver, they could not give a government with a good governance. As an opposition party, it was our bound duty to see that we expose every day incident where they were fed. It is our bound duty. In the process, we convinced what is needed. Every day there was a pickpocket going on to a common man. Price rise was the biggest heat. Government of India, BJP government, Modi ji promised that he is going to bring all the black money and give 15 lakh to every common man. He assured that there will be a din and every income of a common man will be doubled. Every income of a farmer will be doubled. These are the main important promises and employment. About two crore employment every year will be done. We should try to, we try to communicate to the people. These are the promises. Did you have a chedin? Did you, did you have 15 lakh rupees? Did your income double? What you have got from this double engine government? Ultimately, people, they also have a basic common sense. Ultimately, they said, they saw to it that, yes, we are here, we are here to look upon. So we, should, we asked them, give us a chance. There was a fracture mandate. There was a fracture mandate in Karnataka. That mandate could not help them. Ultimately, it was a coalition government running there. Jantadal people was there, Congress people was there, BJP people was there, and BJP leaders became down sideline. All people who built BJP were not running the shots. Jantadal, who came from Jantadal, Mr. Bommai was the chief minister. A only a leader will be accepted then when a leader himself, for example, when Krishna was there, Mr. Devagoda was there, he, he became the chief minister with this mandate. Ram Krishna Agade became the chief minister with this mandate. Virendra Patil became the chief minister with this mandate. Mr. Yedurappa became a chief minister with 104, 1010 with his mandate. Siddharamaya became 
the chief minister with his mandate. But it was not the question of Mr. Bommai. Bommai's mandate was not there. Ultimately, his, his leadership could not prove that what he can do. See, one thing I always tell that, one, a, a single man with courage makes a majority. When is that? When he has a majority under his leadership, under his leadership, that was not able to perform in the BJP regime. So I don't want to go on corruption, I don't want to go on issues, everything has been settled. But that's in the past. That is in the past. Now the People. question, now you are in power. You are the big man, the deputy chief minister of Karnataka, the man in charge for Bengaluru's development. And as we sit in Bengaluru, everyone sitting here would like to know what is your vision because this is a city in particular with a massive infrastructure problem. Traffic jams, potholes, uh, inundation after flooding. Do you want to lay out what are your key tangible takeaways that you'd like to get done with some speed and energy? I agree with you. With a lot of passion, I have taken this job, Bangalore Development. I studied here. Though I am representing a rural constituency, I studied in Bangalore. I am a product of National Public School, NPS. I know the civic problems of problem. In Krishna government, I was the Urban Development Minister. For two and a half years, I was the Urban Development Minister. When this metro was there, when the Bangalore Airport Authority I started, I was the chairman of the planning authority, I was the chairman of the BMICP, all the things happened. But today, I know the world is looking at Bangalore. Atal Bihari Vajpayee had come to Bangalore once on the foundation laying of Bangalore. By that time, last four or five months, world leaders, Japan Prime Minister, China Prime Minister, Poland Prime Minister and various other Prime Minister, flew to Bangalore instead of going to Delhi. Then he said, it is a time has come. Earlier the world leaders used to come to Delhi, then they used to choose whether to go to Chennai, Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad or Soha. Now it is not the same. The world leaders are coming first to Bangalore, then they are coming to Delhi. Not because the Congress party government was there. Karnataka itself has a very big strength. The human resources, the weather, the culture, and especially the knowledge capital, the health. We have about 60 medical colleges in the state. Example of average 200 in every colleges. How many numbers of doctors we produce? There are 240 engineering colleges. How many engineers we produce? How many MBA students we produce? The first autonomous school of this country in CBSE was from Bangalore. Till today, the National Law School was started in Bangalore. So Bangalore itself has a big strength, starting from Jawaharlal Nehru days till today. It has its own history. We have to protect Bangalore. I know, I can admit that Bangalore is not a, such a planned city like other cities. Some cities are still well planned in the country, like New Delhi, some parts of Mumbai, some parts of Chandigarh, Punjab, and they have been a planned city, but Bangalore is not a planned city. We can't extend our roads. Today, due to the new economy, new economy policy, new financial setup, anyone can, today morning, you can decide to have a vehicle. I, when I wanted to have a scooter, about uh, uh, the 5,000 to 10,000 rupees, I had to try, find difficult in my college days. I had to bring one for my mortgage, I want to, someone to support me, and all these things. Now that is not the case. Anyone can have a car within 24 hours. He can swipe a, a car and take a car within 24 hours. But the roads are same. Roads can't be extended. What will you do? That is the problem. That is the biggest challenge now. Same vehicles every day, more than 10,000 vehicles, new vehicles have been registered in Bangalore. Every day, everyone wants to settle in Bangalore. The population of Bangalore is 1.4 crores now. People are coming to Bangalore. Why they are coming? They are coming for employment. They are for coming for education. They see that this weather is so good, culture, cosmopolitan. And I think they feel that they can, any language can be adjusted in Bangalore. So it has a lot of attraction. The weather itself, it is always an air-conditioned city except one month. The entire city is air-conditioned except one month. 
this others knows the value of bangalore today you, you i agree that there is a traffic problem i agree that there are lot of issues how will you solve overnight that? i can't do it overnight it is not possible anyone can't do it anyone not to that is why i am just looking at how to sort out this problem when rains come earlier it is not at the days of kempegoda uh, kempegoda days or the kengal anumanthiya days or krishna days it is not like that it has lot of problems so i am just working out first i am just meeting all my legislators bangalore city legislators parliament members i will meet them i will ask their opinion at the same time all this tycoons of bangalore were sitting with me their voice also should be my voice the common man why should be my voice the stakeholders should be there because they i believe not only with the employee i believe with the employer they create more jobs they give jobs they are the part of the system government can give only 2 and 1/2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh jobs jobs but they give crores of jobs in this state in any sector in the private sector we have to see that they are safe they are happy they are comfortable their time should not be wasted almost 2 3 3 hours they are spending their time on their travel this is what i am looking at i am experiencing it i know i have said already on record in new york tv i don't know by birth i am an agriculturist by profession i am a businessman by choice i am an educationist by passion i am a politician but again as a passion i have taken the odd job of developing bangalore because you've got some josh you've got some energy you've got some passion hopefully you can bring that to the development of uh, the city see i i i need people to help us how can people help and in any case they, if you have a question you'd like to ask dikesh shiv kumar think they, about it in a while i'll give a couple they, of people they, an they opportunity they have they have more brains than us i agree with that we will be occupied with lot of things they can give good suggestions they can deliver see earlier Uh, when krishna ji was the uh, chief minister here he, we uh, jayesh patel had given an opportunity to do monorail here monorail here then i fought in the cabinet ultimately he set up a committee and asked me to take that committee outside the world ultimately we came to bangalore we came to delhi one mr sridharan was there after seeing all over the 10 countries of the world we saw delhi metro that suited us Mr. Anand Kumar was there. He was the Union Minister at that point of time. Atal Bihari was the Chief Minister. I just when I saw them, I presented that paper to Krishna Ji. Immediately, Krishna Ji also agreed, and he presented the same note to Mr. Vajpayee. Vajpayee, after hearing that, he said that yes, for Indian condition, I agree that what D K Shukumar proposition is there, what Karnataka government is. So on that cordial relationship, that is how Metro came to Bangalore. now today also we have to look at we have to work together i don't want to go vindictive politics whether it may be a, a bjp government there either it be a tamil nadu government either be a telangana or i don't want to do any vindictive politics we don't want we want to have a larger scale we want karnataka should be with peace people should come here invest here create more jobs now on traffic issues which the important issue is raising i want to ask them the session there are only two three aspects here either we'd go on a flyover i will go on a tube tube number third is ferry ferry ring roads which avoids traffic come to the bangalore only three options which i have learned so i am calling all the stakeholders seeking them how we can see that and two three suggestion at the other day kiran mazdar and all of my colleagues friends they were just giving some suggestions on that at the time of the peak hour how this traffic one way problem has to be there been i will have to place this before some of my uh, colleagues and i wanted to form a committee seek their advice like how people have come here then we will take a call no, a collective bjp mp from south bengaluru tejashvi surya is sitting here and i was traveling with him during the election campaign and a lot of what you are talking about the bengaluru metro the uh, the elongation of the roads the peripheral highways he was telling me the bjp is getting done now for example yesterday you announced the big foxconn investment for manufacturing of iphones 
which again is something which uh, Chief Minister Bomai had announced. And at that time, you had alleged that he was lying. He said, "Bolra, it's not happening." Now it's happening. Are you taking credit for some of what was See, actually done I'm, by the BJP? I'm telling you, what is there in any credit? Ultimately, in democracy, ballot is stronger than the bullet. The people have decided who did what did who takes. I know this was been presented by my officials with the chief minister. Chief Minister and myself about this iPhone manufacturing unit. I know what concession they have given. We said yes. We don't want to stop any investment to Karnataka. It is Bombay or it is DK Shukumara. It is Karnataka pride. It is Karnataka. We don't want to. What what is there in the credit? Nothing is there. One who looks at history, we can't change history. You can't change history. History is history. Whether they do, whether we do, ultimately it is we are working for the people. We all are the representatives of the people. People have blessed us. We have to deliver as well. Because Bombay did it, it is not fair on my part to see that cancel that deal. Ultimately, employment has to come, money has to come to us, taxes has to come to us. Karnataka has to be image. We will, as far as Karnataka is concerned. We will not, I rightly said, we will not go in a windy way. I will not. As far as D.K. Shukuman is concerned, I will be always positive. What better we can do, we will deliver. deliver. Even if Bama has done, Mr. Yadurrapa has done, Mr. Kumar Shami has done, anything good he has done to the state, definitely I am ready to appreciate it. What is there to lose? What is there to lose? Today we will be sitting here. No one is permanent in this chair. I can't be permanent in this chair. I may be a party president, I may be a deputy chief minister, I may be chief minister. Nothing is permanent. If anyone thinks that he is permanent, he is a fool. Corruption has been a big problem in the development of Bengaluru and in Karnataka. One of your campaigns was the pay CM campaign. The BJP says there will be more corruption under DK Shiv Kumar and this Congress government. What is your assurance to the people sitting here in terms of how corrupt or non-corrupt your government will be? See... Poor people, BJP, I feel sorry for them. What is there to tell about corruption on me? I was a power minister. I was an urban development minister. I was a cooperation minister. I was a jail minister. I was an irrigation minister. I was a Kannada culture minister. Have they found out one small incident scandal on my administration? One Commission whether they have formed, one case they have filed on me, what guts they have to speak on the corruption. I have made the world's largest solar park, world's largest solar park, 14,000 acres of land. I have not acquired a single acre of land. I have not purchased a single acre of land. With the confidence I imposed on the people of those land, keeping them as the partners, 2,400 megawatt has been done in only one place. When I was a power minister, 10,000 megawatt was in Karnataka. When I came out of power, it became 23,000 megawatt of power. How could this happen? They would have found out any scandals with me. They could not do anything. When I was in Tihar jail also, I saw an article. CBA is coming to look at. They have come and scandled everything. Why they could not do anything? The ED and the CBI are probing so many cases. That is, that is, that, that does it us concern you that in what you are trying to do, this could become your Achilles heel, your weak any, point, that they could I, come and I, I am stop least, you from I doing am, what you are doing? I am least bothered about it. One who is born has to die a day. But when he is alive, what he can deliver is important. The cases what they filed to me, when my BJ, when MLA, we Gujarat MLAs was with me, Ahmad Patel election was there, they brought 370 people from, they raided the resort where I was staying. They raided about 80 places. They are harassing me a lot. Still today it is continuing. I don't know what will happen to tomorrow. It is my bound duty to protect my MLS, my friend, my party, my job. If they want to torture me, let them do. History will tell, history will repeat. The results have proven. What more you want? But I will not be afraid. 
I already said the ballot is stronger than the bullet. It doesn't bullet worry you that you me. could get arrested at some time. Pardon? It doesn't worry you that you could get arrested because of all See, these things. See, ultimately it is my conscience. I have to be afraid of my conscience. You can do anything. Today when I go back to my home, you don't know whether you reach your home or not. But with a short time what we are sitting, what I deliver, what I speak, what I communicate, what I get out of is important. So, let the arrest. Who said, who can stop them doing illegal actions? Let they do. Who can stop you? We have seen so many things. All the channels have been purchased by various leaders. They are the mouthpieces. Did you see our post poll or not? Ours was the only channel which was predicting exactly the number of seats that you got. What number I was telling, your channel was telling. Ah. <laughs> huh? So what you are telling, what your channel was telling, it has proved right. It has proved right. Ultimately, I am telling you, I, I always said, you know, history can't be changed. There is no, you can't change history. So the factual things can't be. You can little bit, you can make a cosmetic change. When I sit here, you can put some uh, coloring that this can be done. Ultimately, your identity will remain. Rahul identity cannot be there. You can change your coat, you change your dress, you can put some hairstyle, change it something. But more or less it can't be changed. BK sir, you were hoping to be Chief Minister of Karnataka. You said so publicly as part of an elaborate uh, compromise, you've been given the position of Deputy Chief Minister. Unstated is the promise that two and a half years later you will be made Chief Minister. Are you confident because in Rajasthan, Mr. Sachin Pilot and Mr. Gehloth are at daggers drawn with each other. Could DK Shiv Kumar be the next Sachin Pilot? See, let me not uh, waste my time on the sh seat sharing, power sharing. That is the party which has taken a call. The Congress party has taken a call. It is the internal discussion between me, Rahul ji, Karge ji, and Sonia ji and all our leaders. I don't want to discuss on whether I become chief minister, I doesn't become, is not important today. First you took up issues on my poll promises. Today I am sitting here, you picked me from there. You picked me and you brought me like, you arrested me, more or less you have arrested me today. You have arrested me. After making an announcement, after our first cabinet meeting, we announced that today there was a deadline. BJP media friends were crying about how we will do, whether we can do, whether we can't do or not. I know <coughs> as a financial, finance ministry, what can do, what is different. Definitely, no doubt, it's a big burden. Why we took this odd stand was, the country is suffering from the price rise. I said the word pickpocket. What is a pickpocket? From 60 rupees, they are paying 100 rupees. Petrol, diesel, gas, oil. Honorable Prime Minister promised in the BJP that he is going to bring black money and give 15 lakh account per account. That did not happen. Achedin, as Achedin come to them, Achedin come to them, promise that every income will be doubled, whether it has been done. All these issues are there. Price rise is a big issue which is killing all common Where will you get the funding from? That is why we decided to help a common man, help a human who will look after the family. We know that it is definitely a burden, no doubt in it. Where we are going to get to see that this 40% commission, no, if you stop this corruption, that is enough to sort out this problem. I can prove, I can prove, 100 rupees, 1000 rupees or one, what, one or 10 crores work, they have estimated to 15 crores. I can bring on records, Lot of things are there. You see the time of COVID. At this time of COVID, the central agency had fixed up a price. But in Karnataka, the price was more, double, three times, four times what they double, what double. The corruption which has been. They were asking for, have you seen at the time of appointing police officers, they had to pay 80 lakhs, one crore. More than 100 people have gone to jail and have gone to the jail. Anytime, changing a OMR sheet, 
in Karnataka. They were asking for uh, uh, witnesses, asking a politician to give a witness where he was there. A minister, a former union minister of Karnataka, said that a chief minister post is for sale and a price has been fixed. Minister post is for sale. The one Dekal paper, Bajawani paper, came out with the list that what is the, for the postings, what, what money has to be paid. Their home in a BJP MLA, MLCs, said that on irrigation, this is the corruption going on. MLA said that corruption, this is corruption. No one questioned. The contract association writes a letter to the Prime Minister. Without 40%, you can't do. One uh, BJP Karakata writes to a minister and he suicided himself that I had to pay 30%. I could not pay. I have got suicided. Uh, it is our history? No. It is what they have given to us. Let's look forward to the next set of elections. There's a BBMP election in Bengaluru. There's the national Lok Sabha election. The BJP gets confidence from the fact that they may have lost a local election, but Prime Minister Modi is very popular. That's why Tejasvi Suryaji and the others think, okay, no matter what may have happened locally, 2024 we will win. Because even now people say, okay, we want the Congress at the local level, but we want the BJP nationally. Do you have a plan or are you reconciled to defeat? Let me not discuss things. In democracy, 49 is 0, 51 is 100. I have already said this somewhere. Let us wait for the time. People have given us an opportunity. They have given their numbers, they have given our numbers. Both numbers are there. We are there. Whatever we have spoken, we have committed before people, we have already started delivering it. Time will answer. Let them do their best. Let them win their corporation. Let them win any part of the state. I have seen, when I was in, after the, taking over as the party president, I know how many elections have come, what we have done, how much they have won, how much we have won. I don't want to what happened to the national leadership? They came here. Where all they went? What had happened? You may you open a drawing. Where all Amit Shah went? Where all Prime Minister went? Where all their leaders went? In my constituency, to block my uh, seat, they asked Mr. Ashok, former Deputy Chief Minister, Revenue Minister, to file a nomination. I never went to the constituency. I just now filed my nomination and I went the last day for an half an hour. Why did people give me 1,23,000 margin? They could have blocked me, no, for two days. Even one day also I did not. So they, like this they tried. I don't want to do any vindictive politics. We don't want. Let them have their say. We'll have our way. Let them have their say. We will have a way. What the way is, he's not telling us. But I'll take some questions from the audience now. I'll start with Sagai Raj. Can we have a mic sent across, uh, please? And then... Uh, we can have a question out uh, and then if you have some questions because he's the Bengaluru minister but he's coming out speaking for the first time after becoming minister so don't be too harsh. He said give me some time as well but Sagai let's start with you. Sir, uh, I asked the same question with uh, MB Patil and Dinesh Gundur Rao. During the time of uh, infamous flooding which has happened in the IT corridor, many, many company CEOs, their house were uh, flooded near uh, uh, Belanduru site. And they had threatened the government saying that if you don't bring any kind of solution, if you don't address this issue, we will try to vacate Bengaluru and along with them, they will also take their business from Bengaluru and go to other cities, sir. So as a Bengaluru minister, what is your blueprint for this IT corridor, especially uh, Mahadepura region where you frequently get floods and that is the place you have all your IT companies. See, we had to find out a solution to every problem. Every problem has to be addressed. We have to give the importance. It is an important because that is one of the area where we have the highest, biggest number of revenue. The highest revenue is being flowing here. Even in the corporation also, Almost 60% of the revenue for the corporation, Bengal City Corporation, is coming from that area. I have been marking, I have been asked my officer to look at the paint prints. I have asked a war room to get steady. I will be visiting all those places. On Monday, I have called all my legislators, parliament members to give their opinion. On war footing, definitely we have to address their concern. We should see that they are safe. 
we will work out a strategy and we will ask them also to guide us what better. There are better urban planners there. Lot of construction activities has been happened. Lot of big water issues are there. Not, many of them have blocked the whatever the waterways are there, channels are there, they have been blocked and that has cost to that. I will go a point of time as early as possible. We shall see that that will be looked into. Sir, can I? Yes, please. Namaskara, sir. I am Raj Kumar, founder of Citizens for Citizens. I have a suggestion and a request for Bangalore. One is, uh, in terms of the traffic, uh, can you kindly focus on public transport improvement in terms of BMTC, metro and railways? And the request is that the suburban rail project, it has been in limbo for too long. It needs a lot of push to be uh, made ready quickly. It will help Bangalore's traffic, sir. <laughs> and we have actually sought an appointment with you also. That, is, that has to be helped by the central government. Yes, sir. They, they have been promising, they have been telling, and they had a government here. I don't know why ultimately that was a quick decision making. I don't know why they failed in that. But still I have the confidence we will take it forward. Whatever the rail internal uh, Bangalore city railway system which we have to give priority to that. At least with this metro and with that trial system, yes. I think and the outer ring road which we have to create again now, we have to plan it. I think some uh, traffic issues will be sorted on that. I will have a look at out on this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, last question. Sir, Amajim, go on. Uh, uh, Mr. Shivkumar, uh, you know, Bangalore is known as the startup capital and has always been. Uh, but of late, Hyderabad has come up with T-Hub and many other uh, initiatives there. What is your government going to do, and particularly you, to ensure uh, that startups continue to come to uh, Bangalore and uh, set up their, their infrastructure here? See, already Bangalore is known for startups. I said you the history of Bangalore. I don't want to compete with any of the states. They are their right. They have their own policies. I know why Hyderabad is growing fast. They ha doesn't have FIR, FAR, floor area ratio. They are free. They have connected a very big outer ring road. So it is growing. The land prices are cheap. Still for 7,800 rupees, still you can get a square feet of housing in Hyderabad. That is there. But it is not a so in Bangalore. Still, Bangalore is costlier on these issues. Now they could see in the cyber city of Hyderabad, they could see that traffic is little bit coming congested. We have to plan it in a very bigger way on this issue. We know investments are important. Our students in Bangalore are very much brighter than Hyderabad. I can watch for them. I can watch for them. The, the quality of education in Bangalore is so strong in this country. I said you the number of technocrats being built. You go to any part of the world, any part of the world. Number two, number three are Bangaloreans, Karnataka and Indians. We have a very big, either in the field of medical, either in the field of administration, we have on business management, on technical. Our students are very strong. Earlier, various leaders, various students from North India and other parts of it, they used to come and study in Bangalore on technical ground. Still, let them do whatever they want. I don't want to compete on them. It is their right. Their policy is a little bit easier. I know the policy. Our policy is a little bit tight. We don't have a lenient policy compared to the other states. But in the last BJP regime, they also have tried to liberalize some issues. I don't tell no. But now we should focus on their investment. I said you, we should look on an employer who creates more job. We should give strength to them. We should look at doing ease of business, easy of doing business. We should attract. That is why in our promises in the manifesto, we have come out that we are going to form a separate NRI secretariat in the future. Because we want outside people to come. Without outside people coming and invest, 
we can't look at our own people they will bring money it okay. is their money they will create jobs they will help our state shiv, so, shiv kumar ji the sign board says our time is up we have uh, priyanka chaturvedi ji member of parliament from the shiv sena here and my last question is about whether you know the opposition will be able to fight together will you all fight each other in 2024 or do you think it is possible looking ahead to the lok sabha elections for the opposition to fight as one against prime minister modi see i am that is the national uh, question you are asking me i am not competent to answer <laughs> when i come and sit in delhi i'll be answering that now i am in the they have given me a border of karnataka the people all these people uh, your friends have given me that you just look at here and you have called me to answer on bangalore my friend uh, bangalore south mla is also here looking at me my you just downgraded him sir poor mp you made him mla abhi hara nahi hai he might win again sir no. you are demoting the poor guy no no i wish him he is my personal friend i wish him <laughs> i is my personal friend uh, my mumbai leader is also here I wish her also. She was also our voice. <coughs> Time will answer. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate this. You've dodged. I could have things. answered your uh, uh, my five guarantees. Uh, you didn't tell us. Yes, I didn't tell you five guarantees. I said you. It is Congress guarantee. It is the word which we gave to the people of Karnataka. we have promised we have delivered it is for a common man since they were suffering from the price rise we have tried to touch their hearts gandhi ji tells one thing if you want to control yourself use your brain if you want to control others use your heart so we have tried to touch their hearts i think they have blessed us you know there are some who think that power is poison but when you speak to dk shiv kumar after this big victory and you see the smile on his face you realize here someone who relishes a good fight relishes power he's helped the congress win a famous victory and as you realize there is with this big victory a lot of burden of responsibility now to deliver on the promises that you've made we wish you all the very best thank you very much sir for joining us here thank you rahul thank you thank you, thank you.